welcome aboard United Express Flight 5976 with service to San Francisco. Thanks for flying with us today. ago some of you may or may not know this already but a few weeks ago I went to Japan for a vacation trip and while I was there I did my normal stuff that I always do in Japan I've, I've lived there for years and I like going back and visiting often but uh they still have Toys R Us there yes they still have Toys R Us in other countries I think even in Canada and they had some new Lego sets out they had the big signs that said new and I went and looked at them, and they are the sets that are coming out in August. So I went ahead and picked up a couple of them, and I put them in a flat rate box and mailed it to myself. So I went ahead and did away with the, the original boxes that they came in, unfortunately. But this was the most economical way and easiest way for them, for myself to get it here, you know, rather than try to stick it in my suitcase or buy a big old box to put them in. So, but all right. Let's open it up and take a look at what I got. Oh. First set is 31097. It's the three in one, um, like the little coffee place. It's, yeah, it's got the coffee place. I believe it has like another, like a pet store, like a littler one and then like an apartment and stuff like that. So I think that'll look pretty good in the city. And then the second set, it's kind of, you get an idea right there. <laughs> the way they put it in this bag, they kind of put the, the stickers over the, the very first manual there, it looks like. There you go. So it's set six zero. Two, three, three. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll build and review these. We'll do a quick time lapse. Ten minifigs in this set. We've got two of the uh, donut shop workers. We also have a news crew. We have the reporter and then we have the cameraman. We have a cop and a robber. A mom and a little kid. And then we have a couple construction guys. We have the police bike, very standard. It's been around forever. Not much changes here. Nothing really to talk about. It comes with a helmet as well. But one thing I did like was the, the mobile cells for the coffee shop. So we have you know two workers, so one can go out and do some mobile cells. I really like the, the design on this. I haven't done a mobile cart like this before. I have one that's like a hot dog stand and a popcorn machine, but uh, I haven't had one with the bicycle yet. Uh, it's pretty cool. I like it. So you can get your coffee here on the front and then it's got some, uh, you know, muffins and cookies and stuff here. I really like these little um, to-go coffee cups too. 
Uh, I really like that. It's its own design. There's no, no extra pieces to it. it I think it would be kind of a little bit cooler if they would have put a print on it, but I'm sure if they want to use it for other sets, then that might have might have been uh, a little too pricey. And it's got a little uh, croissant, uh, $1, but there's no croissants here. So maybe I, I think I have a couple extras. Maybe I can try to toss one on there somewhere. <laughs> or maybe they're inside. Maybe they're in the, there's like a little storage thing in there. I'm not sure. But anyway, that's a really cool little build. I liked that. And it also came with a taxi. Another taxi. This is a brand new set. I was really hoping that, you know, Lego would go out and, and you know, redesign a lot of things. And this looks just like the one that I had from like, I don't know, five, 10 years ago. This is an old one and it's not much different really. It still has the off-road tires. Like it's gonna go off-roading. It's just in it, the design, you know, like where you gotta sit behind the other, your passenger and stuff. I, I don't know why they keep, I guess they change the bumpers a little bit, but for the most part, it's the same thing. I really wish they would have did a different design on the taxi. It wasn't, I was not impressed. Now for the truck, I really liked the truck. In, in fact, this front bumper here, oh, maybe it won't come off. I'm not, it might be, I think it's overlapped by that other piece. But anyway, you can kind of see inside here, but there's a lot of like little curved pieces um, and the way that they fit in there with each other is, is I really like that. So I don't know, I'm easily impressed, I guess. But the, I like the mirrors and um, it's got a little coffee cup inside there as well. So for his, either his passenger, which is be kind of tight to put two people in there, or maybe that's just his coffee sitting over there. And it's got the nice smokestacks, exhaust pipes on here. But, you know, fairly simple, real easy build, but it, I just, I really like this little semi truck. And then we have the trailer with the crane on it. It's got these little support arms. You can fold them in. I guess you want to probably fold the, the feet in before you fold it in. But yeah, you can fold it in and hook it up to the truck. And then tow it around the town or to your next job or whatever. So most of this is all manual, I think. Like you can, uh, I don't know, okay, so this one does. So you, you got this crank back here. It's got a little sticker on there with the arrow and it'll go up and down. And then uh, this will extend out. This, this one's manual doing that. And it has a chain that's supposed to wrap around the donut and the, uh, the donut here will kind of like slip over this little piece here that they made, so. But honestly, I'm gonna use this crane probably in the in a different part of the city under the construction, and I'll probably just leave the donut on top of the, the little store, so. But that's just my thinking right now. And then uh, the, the tail lights are pretty cool on the back of the trailer here. Trailer also very simple, but seems like a pretty good design, so. And then next up, we have the little news crew truck. I really, really like this news crew truck. It's got like a little dish on the top that comes up. And then this one's got like a little hinge back door so you can get uh, your, your minifigs in and out of there. Got a bunch of uh, monitors and, you know, computers and whatnot. To me, it almost looks more like a uh, like a surveillance van. <laughs> like you could totally multi-purpose this and you know do some different stickers or something and make it into like a um, a surveillance van. It's got some steps here to get up on top if you had to adjust your dish or whatever. But yeah, it's a real also real simple build and I really like it. And and look, it doesn't have off-road tires. <laughs> and then how, I like how they did the mirrors too. And, uh, yeah, it's just a really simple, like I said, good build though. I like, I like that a lot. All right. The first building up will be the toy store. So it's got some balloons for their, um, you know, their storefront de decoration or whatever. And then, um, it says toys open. It's got some stuff up here in the window. Not sure why they're going to have a little basket here, but 
like a net like they're gonna go catch butterflies or something <laughs> i would think they'd be kind of a cooler toy out here but then again it is out front so you don't want someone to take something but i don't know i just feel like they could have put something else out front um and i didn't put one of the stickers i don't remember which side it was which wall it was supposed to go on but it was just the toys and it says six dollars or, or nine dollars for that yeah nine dollars for that teddy bear that's inside there um just because i'm not sure how i'm going to be placing it there's a good chance that i'm going to stick another building right up against either side of it so i didn't want to you know kind of waste a sticker i might actually put it on the inside or something let's be on the outside maybe i'll put it on the inside that'll be a that'll be an easy fix just because like i said I, there's a good chance that i'm gonna stick it up against other buildings i might even try to make a uh a modular out of it or something or at least put a back on it so it's not a facade so yeah i i don't think the sticker out there would have done me any good so so yeah, like I said, it's a facade, so you can get up inside here. There's a nice like uh, computer with keyboard, so probably like the little cash register, a train, a little hat with the little uh, helicopter blade on there. I'm not even sure what those were called back in the day. A teddy bear and a guitar. That's pretty much all that is in this toy store, but you know, it's it's not bad. It's not not too bad. I understand they were trying to keep it kind of simple, so I can't complain too much. It also has a a little sign for the hat, and it's seven dollars. That's an expensive little hat <laughs> for that for that design. You know, when you're comparing prices, like Lego prices for their their croissants and stuff like that. So here is the uh, I was going to call it the donut shop, but it it's it says coffee, but there's definitely some pastries and other kind of donuts and whatnot inside there. So but here is the ATM machine. You can, you know, do your withdrawals. And this is also probably where the, the bank or the robber comes in play. So, and then I really like the donut design. That was, that's a very cool design. Yeah, you know, to get those round pieces and these are printed, these aren't stickers. So that's pretty, that's pretty cool. And on the inside, I like how it's got the, the glass case with all the different donuts and and uh, muffins and cookies and stuff like that. I might go back through there just because the way they have it done is to kind of make it, uh, I don't know, but basically they have the cookies separated, the muffins separated and the donuts, you know what I mean? So like normally when you go somewhere, they have all the chocolate chip cookies here and all the, you know, the chocolate muffins here and all the, you know, donuts here, you know what I mean? It's, it's all together. So you can say, hey, I want two of those, four of those, whatever, but where this one's just kind of like, kind of uh, mixed up, which doesn't seem right to me. So I'll probably change that as an easy fix. Some chairs just for, you know, a couple customers to sit and then a nice coffee pot and the coffee there. And then their, their sign in there, which I don't know if I can get some light in there for you. Well, I, you can't even see the prices anyway. It just basically has a croissant, um, looks like a cinnamon roll and then maybe a donut or something with a bunch of squiggly lines below it so you can't even really see it doesn't even have a number for a price or anything so but, uh, but yeah that's pretty much it for this um, so I believe the feature that it has here for you is if you have your robber comes over and is trying to break into the machine here it has this little arm here which would crush the, the robber. Luckily, my table's got a kind of a bend in it, so he got lucky. <laughs> Let's see if we can try to move it a little bit and see if we can get him this time. All right. Just missed him. He's got to be kind of to the back side here. Let's try one more time here. Yeah, I gotta be back here. There you go. Whoa. That's it's a rough way to go, but hey, don't be a don't be a criminal. <laughs> so yeah, so like I said, I'm probably gonna end up just keeping the donut on there. Um, rather than have the and I won't have the truck and trailer crane set up anywhere probably near it. But um but let's go ahead and see if I can get this placed in the city real fast. Alright, so I stuck them on some road plates and I, I don't know, maybe I should have put them back a little further, but 
uh, just add a little bit of limited room. I may adjust them here and there, but for the most part, this is probably where they're gonna go. And I ended up using their base plates they came with just for the extra couple uh, pegs that I had stole off my row plate there. Let's see, squish this one down better. Okay, there we go. So let's go ahead and put it in the city. All right, so that's where I got a place for right now. Just on the very edge of the city there, so you can't see the open back. I just gotta put the extra vehicles in. Push the track out a little because I'm gonna start making a uh, railroad crossing. I put some extra street lights up. And I don't think you guys saw, but I started, I put the vehicles back in. I also added a little bit of trees and flowers and then like I said, here's where the track kind of have it spacing out. So that way it gives it a little bit of room for me to be able to put the crosswalk there or the uh, railroad crossing. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the, probably the rest of the construction stuff over here. Even though we got some stormtroopers just taking a break. All right, I think I got stuff placed. So I put the, this is a different cab. This is the older one even though they look the same. I made it look like I had an accident with this nice, you know, limousine sitting outside the theater. The news crew's there doing a story. I put um, the mobile city coffee cart down here, put the construction stuff down here. I misspoke earlier when I said there was two construction guys, there's just the one. The other guy was the uh, taxi driver, which I put the other taxi down here by the smaller train station. And then I put the little robber hiding out back. And the mom and the kid. There's no actual employees for these, uh, for the toy store though. Unless that, uh, maybe the mom is not a mom and maybe she works there and the kid is just on his own going out to the toy store. So I believe that's it. As far as city updates and placement of that, of that set. All right guys, well that's it. And then stay tuned for that other set that I got. I should be doing it very soon. Thanks for watching guys and we'll see you next time.